'Twas a long and arduous road, but at last we reach its end. Farewell, Bahamut. I banish you back to the ether. promise to grandfather you must needs find your own reason to fight for this realm your own meaning in this sea of chaos will you do that for me I will grandfather in fact I believe I already have Reason has been with me all along, guiding me. Eorzea's blade of light, shearing through endless shrouds of darkness. I have been shown the miraculous feats of which we are all capable, of which I am capable. Bahamut, you have wreaked enough havoc. I will not let your wrathful fires consume all that we know and love. I have waited to hear you say that. You have found your resolve at last. Let me join my strength to yours. In this place, in this moment, our purpose has become one.
So, with their books combined, they summon Captain Pallotta! It was actually a pretty cool scene. <laughs> right up until where they were like, For the future of the Orzia! And that was a little campy. to Bahamut, red runs to Bahamut, red runs to Bahamut. Okay, oh Lord. Ooh, I survived somehow. Red runs to Bahamut. Red runs to Bahamut. No, not red. Green, 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 green. How did I survive that? Holy cow. There's a lot of little ads. <laughs> I, I thought there'd be more actual, like, uh, you know, fighting Bahamut than just fighting Bahamut part of fighting Bahamut. Dang, I almost made it through without dying. I tried really hard. Considering I've never seen the fight, I thought it would be okay.
You did it! But one task remains. With this last coil disabled, there shall be naught left to bind Bahamut to this world. His beloved children will finally know peace. Is done. He is truly gone. You knew, didn't you? You knew what Grandfather had become. I was not certain, but from all I had gleaned, it seemed a distinct possibility. The scene people describe of the Battle of Cartano was one of unimaginable devastation, and tis through the combined prayers of the desperate and an abundant source of ether that primals are born. I merely put two and two together. And you consider that a sufficient explanation? Well, however you stumbled across your theory, T'was this revelation that made you wary of my attachment to Grandfather. You feared that in my obsession I would fall under his primal sway. Is that why you decided to join us? To pull me back should I show signs of wavering? Pray forgive me, sister. I wished only to protect you. Yet I see now that I needn't have doubted the strength of your conviction. May I ask you a question? What do you now intend to do with the truth you have uncovered? Which particular truth was that, brother? The fact that desperate prayer gave rise to the primal phoenix? That this new god was responsible for setting Eorzea on the path to rebirth? Should such a tale become common knowledge, People would soon offer up their prayers in earnest. They would beseech Phoenix to complete the healing that was begun. Yet as you and I know all too well, the very act of calling forth this savior would do more harm to the land than good. We cannot encourage such worship for this very reason. A grandfather forced to return as an ether draining primal it would undo all that he had worked to protect. Your abiding love for him was the key that unlocked the truth of the Calamity. But keys may also serve to seal doors that were best left unopened. Let your love now guide your actions, 
and lock away deep inside the fate of both Grandfather and Bahamut. Fear not, Alfino. I understand what must be done. The realm need not know the truth for it to be saved. That the Elder Primal is banished, to return no more, that is enough. Let us make our way back to the surface. Poor Oriange must be beside himself with worry. And here we are again, after that descent into darkness, the desolation of northern Thanaland seems paradisal. As promised, I shan't reveal the truth of the Calamity to a single soul. However, the nations of Eorzea will require certain assurances that the threat of a new primal is gone. Keep in the dark over long, kept in the dark over long, it is only a matter of time before they seek answers of their own accord. Let us recommend that the fragments of Dalamund are sealed off, that the truth may rest undisturbed. But first, we must go and report to Arian J. It would not do to keep him in suspense. I dare say we shall find him pacing up and down at the Corellium processing plant. Ah, the warrior of light returneth undimmed from the depths of darkness. By thy triumphant bearing, I take it thou hast succeeded in thy mission, and yet thou art alone. And mistake me not, dear friend, full glad am I of thy safe return, but where, pray, are Master Alphino and uh, Mistress Alize? Here, my friend. Forgive us our lateness. Uh, we took the scenic route. Bahamut is no more. The realm is safe. God, by the heavens, look at you. What horrors your young eyes must have seen. What suffering your young bodies must have borne. Pray tell me, where are you hurt? Your wounds must needs be cleansed and dressed at once. I shall make for you a poultice which draweth out. Be at ease, my friend. We are hell and whole, I assure you. We took a few tumbles, but the worst of our hurts are healed. I believe we have Grandfather to thank for that. Master Louis Foy, then you met him once more. But wherefore should Bahamut's thralls seek to ease your suffering? I promise to reveal all to you in due course, dear friend, but first there is a matter which requires our immediate attention. Now that Muhammad is defeated, we deem it best to bar entry to all of the fragments of Dalma. To this end, we will convince the nation's leaders that the danger is past and invite their cooperation in ensuring that the fragments are never again disturbed. Come, let us depart and seek an audience with them forthwith. Uh, a moment, sister. You need not burden yourself with this task. Arianje and I will more than suffice. Might you not take this opportunity to rest? The gods know you have earned it. But I am fine, brother. Besides, you have been through as much as I have. Oh, I see now. You would play your game of diplomacy and wish me out of the way. No, I... Not could be further from the truth, I would say. My lady, 
Tis mine earnest belief that your brother hath your best interest at heart. You have more than done your part, and he desireth but to relieve you of a burden he might easily bear alone. I have some experience treating with dignitaries, you must allow. And, as you never fail to remind me of my fondness of diplomacy, I feel it only right that I remind you of your aversion to it. Then it's settled. Arianne J, pray, make arrangements for a chocobo carriage. The ride should give us ample time to prepare our story. Alphano. Though our paths are different, we share the same goal, do we not? But of course, dear sister, that which we just achieved together stands as testament to that fact. Whatever path we choose to take, our hearts shall be ever lead us our hearts shall ever lead us to the same end. Of that I am certain. Thank you. There is a place that I would visit. Might I ask you to accompany me? But first, I do believe a change of garments is in order. It won't take a moment. The landscape is the same. Of course, there is no reason that it would be otherwise. Though it would be poetic for the fragments to magically disappear, I am well aware that they shall remain long after you and I are gone. The world may change irrevocably, but life shall ever go on. Uh, let us take a closer look, shall we? I have no doubt that Alphina will do an admirable job concealing the truth of the calamity. And such truth is were revealed in those dark depths will never see the light of day. I myself agreed that it must be so. But the thought that the people of Eorzea shall forever remain ignorant of their savior, of your deeds, the injustice of it is almost too much for me to bear. How typical of you, Sophie. Ever the heroine. Even so, I cannot deny that I feel better for your reassurance. But I want you to know that I will never forget you are the one who freed Grandfather's soul and saved Eorzea from Bahamut's wrath. And though these great deeds will never be remembered in song, their consequences will be felt forevermore by every soul who calls this realm home.
Yes, this spot will do. Her grandfather, Nail, and the dragons of Mericidia were all those who were taken by the Calamity. At long last, our struggle with Bahamut is over. The realm, given new life through the prayers and sacrifices of countless souls, may look to a brighter tomorrow. When the dust of our adventure has settled, I shall embark on a journey. I mean to find my own reason to fight for Eorzea, and when I do, I will fight with all my being. You have done so much for me, Sophie. One day, I hope to be able to repay you in kind. I have no doubt, but that you will continue to help those in need and grow ever stronger in doing so. I shall endeavor to do the same, and of the twelve are kind, I hope one day to become Aorgia's sword in the darkness, as you are. Come what may, you may rest assured that I will not be outdone by Alphano. Thumbs up. When next we meet, I promise that I will not disappoint you. Till that day, fare you well, my friend, and thank you from the bottom of my heart. But yeah, that was like a symbolic way of them saying that that's the last we're going to see of her for a while. And it is. We don't see her again for a while. But we will be back. Don't worry.